it's crazy how they change Brooklyn all around, man. It's like you come out here and seeing Starbucks and all types of other little goofy ass stuff that <laughs> in the hood. Terrorists here to bring trouble to phony and seize. I move on. And big Daddy King was a, a big influence on hip hop. Rap was way better then than now. Big Daddy King was one of the greatest. So he's an icon, you know. I love Big Daddy King. I just conquer and solve another rapper with ease. Cause I'm at my apex, another bar below. Nothing but a milliliter. I'm a kilo, second to none. Making MCs run, so don't try to step to me. Cause I ain't the one. This is where I grew up at. I used to hang right here on this corner right here. That's where I was raised right there in that building. What is it about Brooklyn? For one, Brooklyn is always in the house. Greatest city I know, for real. It's 57 Park, just up the block from where I live, you know. This is like, you know, where we used to come and hang a lot. I could be out here and just get mad ideas. This is my little brother. Shane O'Delano, little daddy Shane. He probably have his own stories about out here because, you know, he the generation after. I love, cherish, and remember every moment of it, you know? Matter of fact, I'm gonna try to rekindle some of the moments, man. I'm gonna go over here and holler at my man, OJ. Watch him come and actually make it, you know? He came a long way. A lot of the kids from down the block, he created things for them. He gave them wisdom. But if they see him, they'll, they'll come up and hug him and everything because they know where, where he came from. Next time I see you, you're going to be iced out doing it real big, right? Yeah. <laughs> I'm already rapping now. I'm in the studios. You know? Oh, yeah? Yeah. I, I got a CD and all that. It ain't nothing. Me and my father will be in, be in the studio like every weekend. Oh, for real? Yeah, that's what I want. So what's your rap name? Dallas. Dollars? E dollars. E dollars. Okay. E dollars. How, how, many, how many dollars you got you now, E? None. I'm waiting to get some. You know? I'm telling you straight up. I'm glad to see you, Kane. I ain't gonna lie. I'm keeping it real. Big Daddy uh, Cam, feel good be standing here with one of the greatest, you know. I don't know how y'all vision him, but you know in the hood, you know, he one of the greatest that ever came from the hood and did it, made it. He came from the struggle. Gotta respect that. Check this out. I wanna bring them out. Can you do me a favor? Put your hands together for JC and Positive K. First time I bought a microphone was because of Divine Sounds, because of Disco Richie. You know, he had his equipment out and he was rhyming and stuff, and I wanted to get on. So like right after he got through rhyming, I was like, yeah, I'm an MC. I wanna, you know, I wanna rhyme too. And he hit me with the shoulder, like, well, nah, sure, you gotta have your own microphone. It took me two weeks to save $25 to, to go down to the Alby Square Mall and buy a dynamic microphone from Radio Shack. I finally got on when they did the block party on, on right here between um, Stuyvesant and Lewis. And yeah, got on and rhymed um, um, against Richie then. And, um, and, and we, we broke bread, we was cool then. I'm gonna get up on out of here, man. Stay up, man. It's always a pleasure, man. Well, excuse me, take a few minutes to mellow out. Big Daddy Kane is on the mic and I'ma tell about a minimum limp of rhyme with strength and power. So listen to the man of the hour. A well, flat top is one of the most difficult haircuts to give. And who flat top rules in 89? Yo, this dude, Big Daddy, had, if you ain't have a crisp one, if you ain't have a high one, he wasn't really doing it. And he really did it. It's not really else I can say about it. Like, a haircut was everything. Like, when you ain't had nothing else, a fresh haircut was the equivalent of a nice outfit. And, and, the, and the Big Daddy came. So who flat top rules in 89? I can't say it no better than that. 
rap ain't the same no more That's like it right. used to be. He was a good artist with all the girls around him, Big Daddy Kane. He was one of the originals. Yup. And he was fine. <laughs> he was a fine brother. They used to be rocking the jewelry, rocking the suits. Had the hairstyle, had the fade and shit, you know what I mean? Had the three cuts in his eyes, jewelry, everything. Like I said, his flow was rocking, man. Front and hard, but ain't got no style. I give nightmares to those who compete. Freddy Krueger walking on King Street. Confuse and lose, abuse and bruise the cruise and choose to use my name. Putting outfits you know, together, like for stage and stuff, I always wanted, even like for just a, it was just a photo session, I always wanted to, like, you know, just have something that stands out. And, you know, it looked fly. You know, it got that player look. Like, you know, you're the sharpest dude in the building. You know, as an entertainer, it's important for you to, you know, get your whole overall look across. You know, they remember when they wore this or time they had this shirt just like what you had or similar to what you had or just something just real fly about you. It's like stuff like that stands up. Yeah, he changed the game for a minute. It was all Big Daddy. Everything was at Big Daddy for a minute. He ran it. It was all fun for him. It was just like he just brought life to the to the rap game and and the smoothness for the ladies. He paved the way for a lot of rappers that's out now. You know, if it wasn't for him, then you know, rap wouldn't really be where it is today. He not only came with the you know the street music, he also came on a po positive type vibe and all that. You feel me? He wasn't just a rapper. He was like a mentor also. He spread it out for 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 all people. So that's that's how he affected my life and, and my crew's life, so. That's on me. My man. Man, I've been, uh, I've been in the game in hip hop a long time. My true entrance in the game was 93 when I moved to New York. You know, I've done Everything for Jay and Eminem and you know the heavy hitters of, of my industry, Slick Rick, Rakim, you know some of the living legends. But I mean, Kane is an artist, man. I think originally, like set the bar, you know, incredibly high. Big Daddy Kane and the DLC were the reason why I'm actually doing what I'm doing today. Someone that has given me uh, incredible inspiration. I mean, it was a real feeling of that moment. Forward, it's a recapturing that feeling and to really make sure there's authenticity to everything that's being done. You know, there are pictures that I wish that I would have taken. I wish I would have been there. I wish I would have been the dude. So now it's sort of my objective to kind of recreate and sprinkle a couple of things that are important while still advancing somebody's cause, you know? I think so many people have absorbed pieces of that swagger, you know what I mean? What is today swagger? The retro kids that were here today, I mean, that's all that moment in time. opportunity to be here to be able to talk to you today it's an honor and y'all made an impact you know what i'm saying and y'all left that influence and people still to this day love to see you perform you know what i'm saying and they love to see that now we trying to we trying to take it past the image past the music just like really like a lifestyle not the lifestyle as far as old school but the lifestyle as far as carefree doing something positive and just not dwelling on what the next person going to say about you when I see y'all cats doing y'all thing, you know, that's what I think about. Okay. Uh, this, this is the first. <laughs> I, trust me, I understand. I understand. You had to, you know, prepare and all that. But better late than never. Um, what we're basically doing is trying to tell the younger crowd that it's okay to be yourself, that you don't have to do what everybody else is doing, and just be yourself and step out of the box. It ain't about beefing. Uh -huh. It ain't about a bunch of drama. It's just about having fun. I'm pretty sure you wondering how we, like, we kick rhymes, flows, and all that. So, I mean, I want you to hear something, you know, because Kenny, you know, fresh, fresh, hit him all, hit him, I mean, put you on the spot, but let's, let's, let's kick some, you know, this is high back in the day, why not, why not, though? Yeah, let me hear something. Right, let me hear something.
Ready? It's a rap for the game. A lot of rappers ain't rapping the same. They too busy worrying about their little cars and chains. He asked me, I ain't rapping for fame. When it comes to the skills, everybody gonna be yapping my name. I think it's time real lyricists. We get back in the game with a crazy flow. Think that I'm rapping insane the 80s though. Mentality in back of my brain. I'm on the rise of being a legend, so who passing my name? Fresh. I'm the 80s kid with the vintage style. I'm so fly, I believe I'm within the clouds. What lies on being the king, getting the crown? These wa these rappers is washed up, they beginning to drown. I'm the best, that's how I'm beginning the sound. You rappers ain't built to go a couple of rounds. I chew MCs, they in my stomach now. Do you hear the words that's coming out of my mouth? Retro kids. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Your turn, your turn. That's it, man. No, that's no, it. I'm on oh, oh, him too? Your turn, your turn. You, 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 you. Oh, you, 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 so let no man touch this here legacy built. I did it how it's supposed to be. I'm who you hope to be. Unsigned rappers karaoke me. Mm. Coming from the darkest parts to get it stomping. Monsters stomping with the arson. Taking it from Tonkin's Park into the gardens. Making up a Marcus Garvey mixed with Marvin. Listen, I'm like Tiger when I get my stroke back. Looking at your comic, be like, where the joke at? Gangsta League, you spoke that, then turn broke back. Like a three, four cat, trying to provoke Shaq. I'm the franchise player, the strut by many. Y'all cast within the game when you up by 20. Get your skills attacked, cause you ain't built for that. I'm the Brooklyn Silverback, how real is that? Whoa. He said it, he said it. Uh. <laughs> Alright, your turn. <laughs> I can't follow that, man. <laughs> Exactly, I'm at the move you with. My strong song as long as you groove to this. I keep the crowd loud when you hype. Do damage on stage and into the mic. I met King. I was with um ILU dancers. We used to be in Latin quarters, just wilding out, yo. Know, just killing the circles and you know, just young cats just hungry to just dance. After the show, King would perform with Bears. That was my first time seeing him. Do that just rhyming with Bears and and another song. So after we came outside. I seen Kane in the car with Biz, and um, Kane was in the back, and he was like, yo, your number, y'all be having shows. Yo, i like you to dance for me. And you know, he's bugging, I'm like, word? You know, I'm just like, word? And he's like, yo, I pay you, that, that was it right there, nigga. It was like, yes, sir. Peace, my brother. I never forget the first time I came to came to your house, to your mom's house on Lewis Avenue. I'll never forget that. You walk in the crib, you're right in the living room. But when he, we went back there, and when I went to the room, it was nothing but canes hanging down from the ceiling, <laughs> dangling from the ceiling, all different types of walking canes. I mean, short ones, long ones, <laughs> the ones that that's you know that you can move up and down. But they was dangling on a string. In his room. So you had, while you walking in his room, you had to literally be like this to get to whatever area of the room you wanted to get to because he had canes hanging from the room. And that's where MC Kane, you know, later Big Daddy Kane came from. Honestly, it really, really, really originates from is from that TV show Kung Fu with David Carradine. <sighs> that's where it really originated from. We did a show at the Apollo Theater. I'm watching, like I could, and when I glance back, I could see Mr. C yelling to the side, screaming, and I couldn't understand why he was playing the record the way he was, because it was like, ta tat tat doom 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 ta tat tat doom 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 that's all it was, just blank, the back, and I couldn't understand what was going on. But you know, we rocking, and the, cr the crowd is enjoying it. Then I find out, after the show is over, one of the turntables had broke. One of the turntables had messed up. And he was rocking off of one turntable, just letting it play, drop the beat, spin it back to the beginning, and then throw it back in again. And he had to rock it like that until they could come and fix the other turntables. You know, because this is real hip hop shows, you know what I'm saying? I mean, real. This ain't, you know, no, 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 um, no DAP machines, instant replays, no, none of that, Serato, nothing. This is straight turntables, records. That's what you call a real. DJ. The one immediate question came to my head, and I'm gonna ask you this, and it's probably gonna be the last thing I, I do ask you. You have one show. Mm -hmm. It's your biggest show, the biggest show you ever did in your career that you're getting ready to do, but Mr. C can't do it. Who's your DJ? Cool. 
we reschedule the show. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what I wanted to hear. Because I couldn't do it without him. Love you, man. you too, man. 20 years strong, still going. So much love to the fans, man. And just, you know, keep supporting. And uh, we see y'all when we see y'all. You know what I mean? You had people come up and they're like, yo, man, I grew up off you. Yo, my father always be playing your music. Yo, yo, you, you, you really can rhyme. I think that that's beautiful because it's music going through generations then, you know? And I think that stuff like that is very important where, like, as music goes on, the, you know, you, you introduce it to the younger generation, make them aware of where it come, came from so that we don't lose our heritage, you know what I'm saying? We don't lose, you know what I'm saying, what we created. was the originator of that fast flow, like going bananas on brothers, like that he is the originator of that to me. He's a man, I mean, he's fine too. Set it off and another victory from the second album and all that stuff, like the dancers just spazzed when those songs would come on. I had straight hair. I was trying to grow a flat top. Big Daddy Kane, thank you for everything. Pioneer for hip hop, hip hop will live forever. Peace.